So what we found is that in order for people to get the most from their strengths now, but particularly on, in the longer term, is to use the five A's approach, where people start by identifying their aspirations. Where do they want to go in their careers? Where do they want to go in their current roles? What do they want to get from work? So having that absolutely clear, crystal clear for them, we found to be really important. Um, after that, awareness, the second of the five A's, enables people to understand how they can use their strengths to get there to achieve that destination, to get to the end point, and to create a plan to ensure that they do. So once they've both identified their aspirations and followed that up by understanding more about the strengths that they have and the performance risks that they may have in, 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 that may get in the way for them achieving that end, um, we then ask them to take action, and typically that will be by stretching strengths. The fourth A is agility, so becoming much more um, agile, flexible in the way that they can use strengths, dialing them up, dialing them down, using them in combination, dealing with change and navigating change and transition much more effectively. The fifth A is achievement. Achievement is about marking success, helping people not just to achieve success, but notice that they've had it um, and why they've had it, what it is that they've done differently that's enabled that success to take place. Um, so that they can analyse that and, uh, and pick it apart before they go round that, that loop again and start thinking about aspirations for the next level. You know, what are they going to do this time? The 5 A's model works for individuals, which we've talked about largely, but also for teams, for departments and for whole organisations.